Hey, welcome to my channel and to another menu you plan a grocery haul. Now, this one starts week two. And week two starts our regular scheduled menu. <laughs> week one is your kickstart. That's when you can only have, you know, just this much food with a lot of vegetables. And y'all saw that I ate my vegetables. I was so proud of myself for actually getting through it. Today's Tuesday. This is my last day. This menu starts tomorrow. So... Based on your calories, you get your Nutrisystem food plus a power fuel or more, which is your protein, or smart carbs, which is your carbs, whole grains, lean proteins. You get three extras, like 10 to 35 calories, just like, you know, little sauces and like honey. I'm going to have some honey one day. Just little things like that. Just little extras that add little touches to you for ketchup, you know, oh. I hate having to count ketchup, but I will. And, you know, it's 10 to 35 calories, and, and you have amounts that you have to follow, so there's weighing and measuring involved. I'm having to do all that. And then free foods, which are just mustard, vinegar, spices, you know, things like that that are like 10 calories or, or less. So the way they calculate how many of these you get is by the calories that they want you to have. And your calories are based on all the, the normal things. Your, your height and your weight probably are the most the two most um, important factors. I don't know, maybe your age, man and woman. Man and woman is different. But the thing is, I get as much, if not a little more calories, I can't remember what David's are, than he is because I, I, you can't, as big as he is, because he, he's nice and tall, you know, and, and, you know, I mean, he's not a linebacker, but he's, he's substantial. I still got a hundred pounds on him. He does not know that. And we will not tell him that. I told him I will tell him how much I weigh after I lose it. Because I'll tell y'all, but I just don't want him to know. I don't want him to know that I weigh a hundred pounds more than he does. And no, he don't watch my videos. So <laughs> if he does, then he knows. <laughs> But I think, now I know that my size, I can have a lot more food than somebody half my size. That's just how it works. That's just how it works. My body, just at rest, burns more calories than a 150-pound woman does at rest. So adding to that, when you just move around about your daily business, and if you exercise, which I've been doing, then you add more calories. Well, I can have more calories to lose weight, but I still feel like they've given me too much. I can't remember the exact number because I played with the system with the weight, and I think the weight's going to be close. So it's going to be around 1,900 calories, and I think that's too much. So what I have here on my menu, this is going to be, this, from now on, these menu plans are going to be longer. Because I have to micromanage every morsel of food that I put in my mouth. Because lunch, okay, breakfast, a Nutrisystem, a Power Fuel, Power Fuel, and a Smart Carb. And so whatever you pick out for your Nutrisystem meal, then you kind of want your Power Fuels and your Smart Carbs to go with it. You don't want just some kind of disjointed meal if you can help it. Some of these have not been easy. I have, I have worked on this probably for a week. I keep fixing it and going back and changing it and changing it and trying to figure out, okay, make sure you got your two power fuels in there and your smart carb. It's been an ordeal. And I know, I know I'll get better at it as I go. But the first week, I'm sure it's going to be the roughest week trying to figure things out. I'm pretty sure I'll get better at it. Anyway, I'm going to just, I, I've, I've figured out what I need for their guidelines. But if I feel like I don't need that extra carb I'm not going to eat that extra carb if I don't feel like I need it so I'm going to you know take some of this into my own hands now if, if I want to eat all this food that they tell me I can have which they say eat all your food they tell you eat all your food well if I want it I'm going to eat it and this is a lot of food when y'all hear the food that <laughs> now granted there are serving sizes. It's not like rice and you can have, you know, 400 pounds of rice. That There's a, a serving size on everything. So, um, 
you'll see when I do my what I eat videos, you'll see what I have eaten for the day. I actually, for the first week when they restrict you so bad, I ate really good because I had all those blasted vegetables. Vegetables are unlimited. I did not plan as many vegetables this week as I did last week because we can have proteins and carbs. So, now that I think I have, oh, oh, and Saturdays and Sundays, maybe next week's video won't be as long because I won't be explaining so much. Saturdays and Sundays are our flex, flex days. So, we ordered the five-day program. So, five days we get Nutrisystem meals, two days we cook because I was afraid if I did the full seven days, I would feel like cooking something even though I hate cooking. I would feel like I need to cook something and... That's why we went with the five days. So we decided instead of mixing a flex, you can do your flex meal. You can do like all Nutrisystem meals and then flex meal one. We decided the easiest thing would be, since he's home on the weekends, we would flex all day Saturday and all day Sunday. I am not, look, look this is three days. This is three days. I'm not going to mean you playing a, a video with all seven days because look at this let me show you no hold on my hands are dry well where'd it go oh i left it in yonder because i wasn't gonna tell you it is saturday and sunday's almost a full day on its own that right there is a saturday and sunday well i have this much to tell you what i'm gonna eat I'm going to do a Saturday and Sunday weekend edition all by itself. So I'll probably do that on Friday. Um, just to break it up and not make it so long. But anyway, from now on the menu plans, they'll be longer than they have been. Because i got to tell you everything that we're going to eat. But I won't have all this explanation in the beginning. So <laughs> Anyway, I hope you didn't mind. Hold on. Let me, let me wet my whistle. All this time can get me dry. So, I'm going to start, because my weekend, my weekdays start on Wednesday. So, we would just start on Wednesday. Let, let me tell you. Let me give you the first, what I'm supposed to eat. Breakfast, Nutrisystem, Power Fuel, Power Fuel, Smart Carb. Snack, me, Power Fuel, Smart Carb, David, Nutra. I just call it Nutra. <laughs> Lunch, Nutra, Power Fuel, Smart Carb, Smart Carb. Snack, Power Fuel, Smart Carb. Dinner, Nutra, Power Fuel, Smart Carb. Snack, Nutra, Power Fuel. That's what you're supposed to eat all week. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of figuring out what goes with what. So, let's get started. I'm not going to give you, if it's different, a lot of this stuff, I'm not going to give you David's breakfast because he's responsible for that. He knows what he wants to eat when he comes in. And if our lunches or suppers are different, I'll just tell you mine. Well, I might tell you his. I don't know. But all the sides will be the same. I tried to. We didn't pick out the same food. We're going to try to do better this time. So we can have more meals of the same. Um, he picked a lot of wraps and melts. And he's going to try to pick more meal type things next month. And But I tried to. I tried. If it's something we had to have different. To make them close. So the sides would be close with it. So anyway. The breakfast is just mine. The rest is all ours. Well, the snacks are just mine. Lunch and supper are me and David's the same. We do our own breakfast and we do our own snacks. So for breakfast on Wednesday, I plan on having the Nutrisystem turkey, ham, and cheese omelet, some milk and cheese grits. Lunch, a barbecue chicken burrito with cheese. I'm just going to, I need some, a power fuel, so I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top of it and melt it like that. And a banana and then there will probably be some greens and okra left from tonight since the vegetables we eat and I'm still gonna do that whatever vegetable I make I'm gonna make enough for lunch the next day because David carries it at night and then I have it the next day so there's probably gonna be some greens and okra left and that'll be my biggest vegetable day starting um, Wednesday on then supper chicken bacon wrench pizza I'm going to add two ounces of extra chicken, which I'm buying a rotisserie chicken for that and some other things. Some homemade fries. And then David found a recipe that he wanted to try. And he bought the green beans when he stopped at the store the other day for me. Roasted green beans with Parmesan and basil. Snack one. Now, my snacks, I get three snacks a day. And I'm supposed to have 
one snack after dinner, but we eat supper. Well, well I call it supper. <laughs> I call it dinner. We eat supper so late that I normally just go over there, sit down, no time at all. I'm asleep. Sometimes I'm asleep before he gets out the door. And he leaves at like 20 to 9, and sometimes I'm already asleep. So I don't have, um, there's no time for me to have a snack after dinner. I don't go over there at 8.30 and then sit up till 11 o'clock watching TV because I'm asleep. So I've decided I will have two snacks in between lunch and supper. Because lunch, if I eat lunch at noon, I don't eat my supper till 8 o'clock. So I figure there's room for both of those snacks in there. So snack one, yogurt, blackberries with honey. That'll be an extra. Some pico that I'm going to make and pita chips that I'm going to make. And the third snack has to be a Nutrisystem and a Power Fuel and I didn't plan that. I just figured whatever Nutrisystem snack I pick, I'll decide at that time what power fuel goes with it. Thursday, bacon, egg, and tomato bagel. The, the bagel is the Nutrisystem, and I'm going to do an open-faced with tomato and turkey bacon and egg. And may have some cheese on it. I can't remember. I have it written down what I'm going to put on it. And strawberries. Lunch, hamburger. I'm going to add cheese to it. Leftover fries and green beans. Supper, ravioli with meat sauce. A salad with a boiled egg. Some croutons that I'm going to make. And garlic toast. Our bread, um, the calories fall in line where you can have two pieces because the, the calories are lower. So we, we lucked up on that deal. We get two pieces where we can have a whole sandwich if we want. Then my snacks. Here's where it comes in where you can have two pieces of bread. A cheese toast and a jelly toast. And the jelly will be an extra. Snack, a taco roll up because David wants some taco meat. Two ounces of taco meat on one of these, um, like half a little of a lavash. And that, that counts as that. The Nutrisystem and Power Fuel for my third one. Then Friday, breakfast, a cherry cheese roll, which is the Nutrisystem. Turkey sausage, eggs and grits. Lunch, buffalo mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is the Nutrisystem meal, and I saw they call it Nutrisystem Food Hacks on their website to make it buffalo. And I don't like anything hot, but I don't think there's enough sauce in there that's, that's going to bother me. Leftover salad, no boiled eggs because there'll be chicken in the macaroni and cheese, croutons, and strawberries. Supper, sesame beef with broccoli and brown rice, and then I'm going to make extra brown rice and extra broccoli. Snack one, cheese toast, cinnamon toast, and the little smear of light butter will be an extra. A turkey pickle roll-up, and the Nutrisystem and Power Fuel. Then, Monday, since we're skipping over the weekend, the Nutrisystem cranberry orange muffin with turkey bacon, eggs, and grits. Lunch, meatball parmesan melt. I'm going to put some extra cheese on top of that and a banana nut muffin that I'm going to make over the weekend it is a, a Nutrisystem recipe. Supper will be grain-crusted pollock with vegetables. David will have something different with some beans and squash. Snack one, yogurt, blueberries and honey because I ordered some yogurt to make something with before we started Nutrisystem and I... I Somehow order it's a little six pack because I needed two of the vanilla ones and they come in a little six pack <laughs> and somehow I ordered two of them so I got twelve yogurts. I don't eat that much yogurt. So that's why I got a couple days of that. But that's with blackberries and honey and that'll be my extra. Did I tell you that? Oh yeah, another turkey pickle roll up and Nutrisystem and power fuel. And then Tuesday, turkey sausage. Egg McMuffin, which is the Nutrisystem. Cheese, I'm going to add to it. Some more yogurt, blackberries, and honey. That's going to be a big breakfast. Lunch, garlic cheese flatbread with this Nutrisystem. I'm going to add extra cheese on it, and we'll have leftover beans and squash. Supper, bourbon-style chicken, which is Nutrisystem. Some noodles, which I can't remember what, if that's just chicken, if it's got, I don't know if it's got a starch with it. I don't think it does. So we're just going to put that on some noodles. Um, whole grain noodles. And then I found a recipe for some Dijon Brussels sprouts. David, he's, he's about found it out on Brussels sprouts, but we're going to try it. 
and then snack um, number one, a boiled egg and some baby bell cheese. Snack two, peanut butter toast and cinnamon toast. And then my snack three is Nutra and Power Fuel. So that, <laughs> that's my big long winded menu. But you can see how much I have to plan to get in what they want me to get in. And like I said, if some of those starches on the end, if I feel like it's too much, I won't cut the power fuels. I won't cut the proteins. I'll cut the starch if I think it's too much. Which they don't really have that many starches added into the day. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six starches for, for the day. Um, so that gives me some room to play with. So what I have for my grocery haul today, I'll be going to Harris Teeter. And if they don't have everything I need, then I'll add a food line to it. So that'll probably be what you see today. So let's just turn around and look at the groceries. My groceries today all came from Harris Teeter. So we always get skim milk and almond milk. And then I'm really enjoying the half and half that is mixed half with fat free. So I got that again. We need some light sour cream. You can have that as a smart carb. And David needed some more yogurts. So we got the, the usual flavors here. And then turkey bacon. I like the Oscar Mayer just because I like the way it smells better. I don't eat it, but now I will be eating it because it is um, the power fuel. Three slices of turkey bacon counts as one. And then let me make sure the calories. Two, two patties of the turkey breast sausage counts as a power fuel. And then the ultra thin slices, you can use low fat cheese, but three of these little thin slices counts as one power fuel. So that's a um, good deal to stretch between crackers and pepperonis and things like that, or on sandwiches or roll ups. Since low fat cheese is very hard to find. And then turkey pepperonis are on there. The Laughing Cow Light. You can have three of these, which I don't foresee eating three of them. But if you were so inclined, you could have three. But we're going to have these as a snack. We're going to have pepperonis. You heard my menu. The pepperonis, the Laughing Cow cheese and crackers. And then I got chicken. I had one pack of chicken left in the freezer. But here's my thinking. I only need eight ounces, and this is a pound. I'm going to chop it all, not chop it all, but dice it all into bite-sized pieces and freeze the other half. If I thaw out a whole pound of chicken that I don't need, then I don't want to refreeze it for later, and I'm afraid it'll spoil because I don't need it. I only need a half a pound this week. The other chicken that I'm using is a rotisserie chicken. And this is for several meals. One, one power fuel is two ounces of chicken. We're having like the garlic. I think it's the garlic flatbreads. I might be adding chicken to. There's, there's some little pizza I'm adding chicken to. David has a meal that I'm adding chicken to. There's a couple other things that I'm adding chicken to. And I thought this is the best way to do it is with a rotisserie chicken. I'm just going to pick all the meat off. And I think I'm going to go ahead and portion it out in two ounce sizes. And that way it will be ready for the meals when they come. And then I needed a couple more stewed tomatoes because I never know when I'm going to need those. I was out of oil spray. And you know avocado is my favorite. The pimentos. Pimentos. <laughs> Are for this pimento dip. It's kind of like a pimento cheese. The one thing I couldn't find was chives, which I've never put that in a pimento cheese, but I wanted to try it because that's how the recipe was written. But they didn't have any in the store, so we'll just do without. But this is for one of our snacks this weekend. <clears throat> Needed some more peanut butter. Uh, one tablespoon of any nut butter is a power fuel. Needed some more minced garlic. I, I just went ahead and got the squeeze one. This is for one of the food hacks that uses our white cheddar mac and cheese. That's one of the things that the rotisserie chicken goes for with just a little bit of this. And they had the mild 
just so happened it was buy one get one free so that didn't hurt that it was half price so I'm excited to try that I was out of I have like one little spoon full of seasoned rice vinegar I use this for recipes and to put on my greens if you eat greens with vinegar try this you will not be disappointed I told David last night it is a game changer and that's from a southern girl who grew up eating apple cider vinegar on her greens we're just about out of sugar-free syrup and we do have waffles and pancakes that we eat on Nutrisystem this is for David he likes the and he hadn't had them in a very long time which I guess is why we didn't know they didn't make them or at least Harris Teeter doesn't sell, um, sell them but he can use this 70 calorie um, fiber one bar as a smart card snack so I got him the cinnamon coffee cake this low sodium B8 is a vegetable so this does not count when I need a vegetable to add to a snack or something I can have one of these and I like V8 to begin with so just as long as it was low sodium I think that was the important part now the rest is produce I think the Roma tomatoes I got these for the pico de gallo that I'm gonna make last week was the pico de gallo salad this is just pico de gallo that I'm gonna make and I'm gonna make some pita chips with some pitas that I have on hand the shredded iceberg lettuce is for David's um, taco meat to make some roll-ups can't remember what I needed this red pepper for but it goes in something that we're making and then the cilantro is for the pico and the lime is for the pico somebody reminded me asked me I can't remember who it was and I apologize on my comments this morning did I like radishes and I'm like I sure do but I don't think about them she was like that'll be a good raw snack to have and radishes will last forever in your refrigerator I don't know if you know that or not so I went ahead and got me a bag of radishes I like them with salt and I got two packs of tomatoes these are the ones we got last week that tasted good for out of season winter tomatoes because I have several things that uses tomatoes this week and then this is I'm going to try to eat these raw with my cucumbers we shall see and I needed bananas I, I found a Nutrisystem banana nut muffin that I'm going to make and then like one day one of our smart carbs is going to be a banana I got a lot of cucumbers because y'all know I eat cucumbers till they come out my ears plus we're having salads um, several days and then for our salads I got the green leaf lettuce that I like and the 50-50 that David likes we'll have salad like three days so that should use all that up and then we're going to have strawberries several days and these were buy one get one free so that saved me from buying a large one I just bought two of those and then I'm going to have blackberries with yogurt um, a couple days it's good if you eat the blackberries with your yogurt and drizzle it with honey Ooh, and honey counts as an extra so that's that oh and the last thing are our breads let's see David's whole wheat and the calories on this I think he said are 60 there we go 60 smart carb is 80 to 20 so 60 is too low and 120 is right on the money so we can have two slices for a sandwich I, instead of getting the white wheat, I went for the multigrain. It's 45 calories. So I can have two slices of that. So we can have an actual full sandwich instead of a pocketbook, which is what I grew up calling it if you use one, one piece of bread. It's a pocketbook sandwich. So that is it for my Harris Teeter haul. And that is it. I hope you're having a good hump day. And I hope you have a good rest of your week heading into the weekend. And I will see you on my next video.